Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to show you my laser cutter air assist project. Yeah, I designed this in uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. And I wanted something that actually was portable that didn't require an air compressor that I could take with me. So if I wanted to take this to like up, my, up to my cabin and, and, and mess with it over the weekend, I could do that. And I didn't actually have to bring my air compressor with me. So this, this design actually runs a... I think it's called a 4020 fan, but it's a blower fan. And it fits on here. I'm not gonna put the top on. You just pop that in there. I have a spot for a power cable to come through. Um, I'm actually gonna solder new wires on this thing. And then I wanted it to be modular so I could change tips. Right? So I could take the tip off and change it like the direction of the tip or just depending on what kind of material I could create different tips and then we just fit on this laser cutter here and not like that right? and then I can control it via gerbil via gerbil controller so I have a couple gerbil controllers here these are MKS DLC 2.0's uh, but what you can do is you can control from the A3 pin with the uh, MA command a um, couple issues I'll go through more detail when I get to the electronics part of it, but you're going to need a MOSFET to control the fan. Um, just because the A3 output only puts 5 volts out, and the fan is a 12 volt fan. So, Plus the uh, A3 pin can only actually handle 20 milliamps. But uh, yeah, so if you saw these boxes, I'm actually the designer of these boxes on Thingiverse. But uh, alright, so that'd be cool to have the air assist on this thing. You know, um, it's, not, it's probably not going to be as good as an air compressor, but... Um, yeah, the main thing is you want to get rid of that smoke because the smoke blocks the laser so it can't actually hit the material. So the, really the main goal is to get rid of smoke and if I can get some of the debris out of there, that'd be cool too. Like the laser channel, laser cutting channel. But, alright, so i got to wire this up. Uh, so I designed this to actually run like the uh, M3 little, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, flathead little M3 screws. Alright, so we'll get that going and uh, I'm going to get that mounted onto here permanently. Alright, so while I'm heating, waiting for my uh, solder iron to heat up here, uh, I wanted to show you a couple of small MOSFETs I got. And, like I said, I can't control the fan um, you know, via the A3 because the A3 pin only actually has 20 milliamps uh, output and it's only 5 volt. Whereas I need 12 volts and a little bit more I think this fan pulls about 30 milliamp. So that's actually that's not the big of an issue. It's the voltage that's really the issue. But so I might re redesign my box. I may put some spots for uh, some MOSFETs. So keep an eye on that on Thingiverse. So if you wanted to actually have, be able to control like coolant and like flooding, so if you're running like a CNC machine, maybe like multiple MOSFETs. So when I designed this, I actually designed like a little wire pass through in the back. So just pull a wire. Through the Alright, so when I designed this thing, I designed that little channel right there, and the channel goes onto there. I have that to prevent air leakage, so this would be a much tighter seal. It just snaps in there pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, it should just snap all the way in there. Alright, doing a quick fan test. I want to make sure it blows good. Feels pretty good. I mean, it's definitely more than enough to get the smoke out of the out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna be designing different tips for this. I mean, this one I, I think I could probably make the air holes a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna change the direction so it comes more towards the laser head. But uh, yeah, I can feel because it'll get, it'll get a little back pressure, so I could probably make the holes bigger. All right, so when I designed this, I actually designed this for M3 nuts, and that's actually gonna allow you to mount the air uh, box to the actual mount. Alright, so the air box assembly is ready. Right, slide it on like that. A couple more screws. Right there. And that should actually line up with the um, one of those things in there. So, I already measured it. And this is actually a 40 by 40 uh, it's pretty typical like uh, laser diode you get on eBay or something. Amazon. Okay. Got the head on there, air blower. 
body. And if you're wondering, you know, covering up the heat sink, this is actually going to melt. It's still allow the air to go through. I already felt it and tested it already. So as you can see, the heat sink right there, the fan actually passes the air through there. So it's going to keep it cool. Actually, it might even keep it more cool. Who knows? You know, better actual airflow. Oh yeah, and by the way, when I designed the tip, I designed it so I could still get my finger in there and adjust the actual, I might actually design an adjuster to make it easier, but you can still get your fingers in there to adjust the laser. Alright, so I got the fan wires fished up here. I'm actually putting out a new box right now. So I decided to uh, create a MOSFET box. That way I could actually have the MOSFET integrated into the box. Alright, so overnight I created a new box. It didn't turn out great. Well, the box is fine. I didn't actually put enough infill in there and also ironed it, so sometimes you'll get those that pattern. But the new box, oh, here, here's the original box. So on the original box, on Thingiverse, I had the cable ties over here, but because I'm actually adding accessories, I created a mount for uh, two MOSFETs. So the board and two MOSFETs. So if you wanted to control, I'm obviously going to be controlling a fan, but you could also control like whatever, a pump or could be anything, you know, so. Oh yeah, by the way, this MOSFET can do about one amp uh, with no heat sink. So once you actually uh, start sending more than one amp over it, you have to add a heat sink to it. But I put it like, just like that. All right, so let me uh, show you this MOSFET wiring here. So I'm actually using A3. That's the default for like the coolant mist. Um, so the green is actually the ground and it goes to the ground on the MOSFET. The wires just push onto the board to clean it up. The blue is the actual positive, the signal. It's on the signal part of the MOSFET. And I believe this is a ground triggered MOSFET. So I really only needed to have one input. So on this actual DLC board, um, the motor is actually a ground triggered. So this is a 12 volt constant. So I just ran, ran a 12 volt right into the actual positive side of the MOSFET. So I only had to run one wire because the ground side's already grounded here. So I had to run one power wire and uh, let me show you real fast, we'll do a test. Have a fan connected to it, a blower fan. So on um, laser gerbil, I'm gonna do a M8. And that basically turns on the MOSFET and obviously the fan is blowing. And to disable it, it's gonna be uh, M9. So in your G code, you can actually incorporate that fan. So M9 turned it off. So yeah, now I got the uh, thing wired up, the MOSFET, and tested, and put the thing back on here. All right, there it is. So I put the bigger tip on there. Um, yeah, because this little small one here wasn't blowing enough air. So take a look at that one up there. So it's kind of like in the direction. It's not interfering with the focuser. And the cool thing is, well, what I'll do is I'm gonna upload the uh, Fusion 360 file for the tip. You guys can make your own custom tips. I'm going to keep on making custom tips too. But also, I want to show you. Um, I created an air assist button on the uh, thing here. So I'm going to click on it. M8 is the on state. And then M9, I'm going to click it again. And that's the off state. M8. M9. So I can actually see if there's, it's making any difference while I'm doing the actual uh, laser cutting. So I'm going to do a test piece real fast and we'll see if it does any, uh, does anything. So, all right. All right, so I'm going to run this little anchor right here. We'll test with the uh, laser dribble here. All right, I have the air assist on here. Can't wait. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'll pick it up with the camera or not. But I definitely don't see any smoke. At least smoke in the path of the laser, maybe a little bit, but. So you can see the tip right there. That's the laser. Alright, I'm gonna mess around with the tips. Hopefully, the camera's picking it up. Um, I mean, I can definitely see it blowing the smoke in the other direction, like it's supposed to. 
I mean, I can always bring the tip further down too. That's not a big deal, depending on what material I'm doing. But all right, guys, cool. All right, I mean, I could have made this a lot easier just by having an on and off switch, but I thought it'd be cool to be able to control it from software on and off. All right, guys, cool. Having fun.